what does freelance mean and how can it help you make money? Freelance means that you're not committed to any business or company. So you can offer your video editing skills to anybody, which can maximize your chance of making money. So let's take a look at how Filmora can help you with freelancing. As a freelance video editor, you can sell your footage to clients directly or through online portals. There are links to them in the description below. You'll also need to produce quality videos and that's where Filmora can help. I am a freelance video editor for my own web design business and I shoot and produce videos for my clients to add to their websites. I use a lot of Filmora's tools and features to enhance them. I'll show you an example of what I would do for a restaurant video. So I've got six short clips that I'm going to use in this restaurant promo video. And I always go to the template section first to see if there's any good templates there. So for search for restaurants, I'll have a look through. Now I did find one called food promo video, which is quite interesting. So I'm going to use that one. You can create your own from scratch, obviously, but if there's a template there, I find it's always a good base to start from and then change it as you want to. So I'm going to drag that onto the timeline. I'll then click here to replace the material, which is all your footage. I also then like to expand the template and then I can see all the videos and the music, etc., in there. I won't need the text at the end, which is there. So I'll delete that straight away. But this is how it looks at the moment. It's a really nice template. I actually like the music as well, which is a bonus. But you can add your own music if you want to. You can change all that. But what I'm going to do is change the footage that we already have, which are one, two, three, four, five, six. They're the ones that I have. And the other ones you see with the ticks in are the footage that's in the template. Okay, we're now going to replace the videos. And the way we do this is we hold Alt on the keyboard and drag and drop the footage over the footage you want to change. So one goes over one, hold Alt, and the second clip goes over the second video. Keep holding Alt. Third clip over the third video. Fourth over fourth. Fifth over the fifth one. And sixth over the sixth one. Now there's seven videos in here. I don't need the last one, so I'll click on that and delete it. And I'm just going to drag this one across, the last one. Maybe place it there and extend it to the end. I'll also move number five across and make that maybe a bit bigger. Oh no, I'll see, I'll see what's, yeah, I'll make that a bit bigger, I think. I'll do the same with four. Just drag that out. Number two might be a bit big, so we'll make that a bit shorter. And we'll make number three a bit longer. And number four. So there's all our clips at the moment. Let's just see how that pans out. There you go, that looks really nice. And I actually don't think it needs any transitions, but you can, if you want to, put a transition in. I'm not going to because the music changes with the video clips, so I don't think it needs a transition. What I'd like to do now, though, is put the restaurant logo in. And the way to do that is if you go to Media, Influence Kit, Start Creating, and we're going to create a logo. So click on Start Creating there. I'm going to choose the second one, Digital Pixel. I like that one. And then click on Start Creating again. Now you add the company logo here. I've called this restaurant The Phoenix. We don't need the text underneath, although you can have something there if you wish. So I'll delete that. Click on Finish. Okay, that's created the logo. I'm just going to move that onto the second track. I'm going to move the rest of the video underneath it. The logo is a bit long, so I'm going to drag that down to correspond with the end of the first clip. And it may also be 
yeah a bit big in the center i don't want it there so i'll click on the logo i'll shrink that down to about that size i'll click on it and i'll move it down to the bottom right hand corner so this is the phoenix restaurant let's see what that looks like from the start I'm really happy the way that's turned out and I'm sure your client will be too. You could also use templates to build a portfolio for yourself to show future potential clients. I hope this has been helpful and it's shown you how you can use film orders, features and templates to become a freelancer. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification icon. That really does help my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.